All right, here we go. <laughs> I just picked this card. Authenticity is my power. And I'm doing an afternoon, <sighs> an afternoon um, message, I guess you could say, because it's the afternoon. And I did mine already this morning. And I noticed that I hadn't, um, I hadn't posted it yet. And so I was like, it's too late in the day, all right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna post this one, all right? So authenticity is my power. and. It says, I am authentic, I am genuine, I am honest. I honor myself and others by feeling my feelings and speaking my truth. Oh boy, what? This is a hard one, right? <laughs> because speaking your truth sometimes is not what everybody wants to hear. Am I right? Especially for all of us people pleasers or recovering people pleasers, right? It's scary, but you know what? You have to be authentic. You have to state who you are and you have to be able to speak your truth to where you can be free. I just listened to a, a podcast from Mel Robbins and um, Sean T and it was amazing. It's on Sean T's uh, YouTube uh, channel, Trust and Believe, his podcast that he does and it's with Mel Robbins and it's on people pleasing but she talks about how she used to be a major people pleaser and how that's her automatic go-to and I was like, oh my God, I'm even more like Mel, Mel Robbins than I thought. <laughs> no, because I just love, I love her. I love the science that she talks about. I love how today she's like, I am not a doctor. I am not a psychologist. I'm not a counselor. But what I am is a life expert on, on basically living life and learning what has worked for me. And that's what she's sharing with the world. I thought that was incredible. And she's a life learner like I am. And so I just wanna put that out there to let you know that if you have a dream on your heart to do something, if you're in the middle of doing something and you are not the so-called expert, quote, 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 expert, you don't have to be, all right? So just know that your expert or credentials is your freaking life experience. That's your expertise, that is your credentials, all right, that allows you to have the power to talk and to come across as someone that knows what the hell she's talking about. And yes, I'm talking about myself right now, right? <laughs> but that's okay because I'm being authentic with you, all right? I am authentic. And how I want you to ask yourself, how were you true to yourself today? Oh my God, to thine own self be true. That's the first card that I'm going to be doing on my own cards that I'm creating. Yes, that's been a dream of mine ever since I've been doing these cards. And it was something that I had inside of me that was like, why can't you do these? And I was like, ah, this is what I wanna do. And so I'm gonna do these. And I'm not sure when they're gonna come out, but they are gonna come out. And I don't know how many I'm gonna have, but I have different sets and I have different numbers of them. And I know that there's a number that's God, God's gonna speak to me and he's gonna give me and I'm gonna be able to give it to you guys. So I just love it. So how are you true to yourself today? So ask yourself, what did you do that made, your, made you know that you were stepping into your true self today? That's how you know how, is, how are you true to yourself. How, how are you true? Is it, how are you true? Does that make sense? Does that sound right? <laughs> All right. If you're new to me, <laughs> you'll know that I kind of have like a funny play with words. But you know what? That's me, right? Take it or leave it. Adios, amigos. If you don't like it, leave. <laughs> All right. And then how did it feel? So how did it feel? How did it make you feel being true to yourself today? Today, I got some shit done, all right? And I feel freaking amazing. And so I'm gonna link more days like this together to where I can create this feeling because the more feelings that you create that speak to you, that lift you up, that put you in your, um, put you where you want to be and how you want to feel is how you keep coming back for more. It's the same thing with my health and fitness. Like my workouts, you know, I love my workouts. I used to not really love to work out. Now I used to love what workouts did for my body way back when, many, many years ago, you know, I used to love that, but I didn't really love to necessarily work out and get hot and sweaty and lift a lot of weights and be sore and all that kind of stuff. No, that's not really what I liked. Now, my, you know, my mission is not necessarily about that. My mission is to feel. How do I feel? You know, how do I want to feel? That's, that's what gets me to work out. And that's what gets me to 
eat the right way. That's what gets me to phase my diet, right? Is how do I want to feel? And so I encourage you today to think about it. How did it make you feel? Whatever you were doing today that helped you step into your true authentic self, how did that make you feel? All right, love you guys, and I hope you're having a wonderful Monday and that you kick butt in your workout, all right? I am gonna leave you with that. All right, love you guys, bye.